Hello fellow collectors and welcome to Long's Toys. Today we are taking a look at Decepticon Double Crosser from Transformers Earthrise War for Cybertron Trilogy. He is our new Battlemaster for Wave 3. Uh, unfortunately for Earthrise, they've really been phoning it in for the Battlemasters. We've only gotten one new one per wave. Uh, and then the other one in the wave has been reissue from usually Siege. Um, but I don't know. I, I mean, he looks okay. Um, I guess they didn't really have enough ways to give us these like platforms... So they managed to pull off three different robots that just turn into ramps. I mean, I guess I don't know how many robots that turn into ramps you'd want. But I do like that they're giving us more connect pieces. I really wish they would just sell us some kind of, like, ramp collection. Maybe just, like, as a Hasbro Pulse exclusive or something. Just because I want more, like, roadways and things to connect all my MicroMaster bases. So I would love some kind of just, like, track set that I could, you know, connect to everything. And I think that'd be really cool, but... Here we go, we have Decepticon Double Crosser. He is a two-headed robot that, again, turns into a... I guess this is a four-way ramp. So this guy's an intersection, so there you go. Uh, I, maybe that's why, because there's a double crossing of the ramps. Haha. -ha. Okay, anyway, so I'm going to go ahead and uh, get this guy out of the box. But real quick, got to shout out the, uh, the artwork on top of the card. Really like that. They did a nice job with that. Artwork's been pretty solid throughout... The War for Cybertron Trilogy, I do have to say. But yeah, let's get this guy out of the box, and we'll take a closer look. So here is Double Crosser out of the packaging. I do like the two heads. It's a little goofy, uh, but not bad. He's got a ball joint here in the shoulder. He actually does have a bicep swivel, but it's really more for transformation. And then he's got a ball joint in the hip. And that's pretty much it uh, for points of articulation. He's got this gigantic ramp just across his back, just hanging out, uh, not really too great. And I do feel like, the I don't know why, but the ball joints in the hips are like strangely restrictive. Like they don't really want to move, and that might just be mine. Maybe over time it'll work itself out. They just seem a little stiff. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it. He's got some nice purple paint on the chest. I do like that. Um, got a little bit of matte black paint here on the back for the ramp. Uh, transformation wise, you're going to rotate this around. And it really feels like I'm going to break it every time I do it, but you rotate this around, you hear it snap into place. You take the two feet, you peg them together here, and then the two pegs on the back of the feet will then peg into the ramp on the back. And then you just take this, rotate it, and you can see that there's two pegs there, and they're going to peg in there and there. So you just peg that into the piece on his back, rotate that, do the same over here, and that's it. Now you have your four-way ramp crossing, uh, but once again, it is just the robot completely underneath. It's not really much of a transformation. I mean, I get it, you know, you're trying to make ramps. That's why I said just sell me ramp pieces, because these weird ramp connections that just have, you know, robots underneath. Like, I can't use this as, like, a ramp, because, you know, like, there's too much stuff underneath. I guess I could use it as a straightaway, but trying to use it as, like, an inclined plane is not going to work. Because it's got too much robot kibble underneath. He does have a peg here on the chest, so if you want someone to hold it, which I can show off in a minute. And then he comes with a blast effect. Because since these are all supposed to be quote-unquote shields, basically all shields can do is get shot by things and have blast effects explode on them. So they all pretty much come with the same piece. Uh, but let's see, if I zoom out here and I bring in, here's Fast Track. Why don't we pop this out and peg this onto his forearm? What do we think? And then he can have a shield arm. So it's not bad. I mean, they kind of work as shields. I have him shooting with this hand and trying to shield with this hand. Kind of works, maybe. It's actually it actually looks a lot better than I expected it to. Let's put it that way. I think that shot actually looks kind of kind of decent, kind of nifty. Um, yeah, they're they're shields, and. Uh, ramps kind of but they just have a ton of robot kibble underneath why can't i get the blast effect on there? there we go but honestly that actually kind of looks cool looks a lot better than i thought it would so i guess it works okay as a shield 
as a ramp. I don't have enough connection things to check it out, but I'm sure it's perfectly fine as a ramp. As a, as a track of road, as I knock the camera over, uh, a track of road and not so much an inclined plane like a ramp because it has too much robot cable underneath. But if you're just going to connect a bunch together to make road, I'm sure it's fine. So at the end of the day, the robot mode's okay. The two-headed gimmick is just that, just a gimmick. There's really no need for him to have two heads, but it's kind of funny. The paint application of the purple on the chest, I think, looks good. Articulation, I think, is perfectly fine for a battle master. I don't have any problem with that. I don't love the ramp just being completely across his back. I would have rather there was a way for it to just stay up and have it fold in half the way Sound Barriers does. I just think that's a better gimmick. But overall, I think, you know, he looks okay with the exception of the ramp across his back. I kind of like the little bit of uh, ramp piece on the forearms. I think that adds a little bit of character to the robot mode. I think that's kind of neat. Uh, as a shield, I think he works decently. Like I said, as a roadway four-point connection, I think he probably works pretty decently. I just don't love this thing across the back. And every time I rotate it, I feel like it sounds like it's going to snap. I'm sure it's fine just makes me nervous so all in all he's okay not amazing but i think he's worth picking up at least one of just to complete the collection and honestly just to give you some more uh, road pieces come on hasbro sell me a track set throw a couple of these re throw in like him and slitherfang and sound barrier repainted and then throw in some extra track pieces and i buy it in a heartbeat absolutely so i don't know he's okay and like i said i think he's worth picking up at least one just to check him out uh, but let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Please like, share, and subscribe. Hope you guys enjoyed the video, and as always, thanks so much for watching.